Hey folks, welcome to day 276 uh, of my Euro Solo Board Gaming, considered by many to be ill-advised and stupid. This is, of course, Foggy. Uh, we are going to be playing Rage More here. Uh, I think two more games of Rage More, today and tomorrow. Maybe a third one as well. I did not do very well in the previous game. Uh, Rage More has been my most popular video uh, on the, of this series. Uh, it's day three, and I think it's got like 500 views or something. I think it was a perfect length for a board game video. I think it's slightly over 10 minutes, and... Uh, a lot of people have watched that one, so uh, we'll, we'll see how well I do here. So the first thing that you do is you draw five cards from the bottom to form your quests. Uh, you just simply can't put two suits of the same type next to each other. But they can be like first and third. Alright, so there's our quest. Then we're going to draw three members of our party. And we have to stack like suits. Uh, fortunately, none of them are the same suit, so we're good here. Uh, and then we take this card. That's our encounter. And if we don't resolve the encounter, we have to do what it says, which is move one card from finished quest to the bottom. And uh, it's actually not that bad, because I don't have anything that would deal with that. That's not a problem. Um, so interestingly enough, so one of the things that you can't can't do is have a quest that goes four cards or more. But once a quest is completely finished, that's it. You can't then in turn um, you can't then in turn refill it up. So if I, I I could use this to grab these two cards, that would complete that quest line completely, and then every other quest card would have to go onto here. Any every encounter card would get added onto here. And that would quickly end up in, in defeat. Uh, I can, I think, encounter. I could try recruiting. But there's very little for me to recruit. I could recruit this here. I could also just pass. We're going to pass. I think we're going to pass. I'm going to pass this. It's going to go up here. I'm going to go to the next card. There's no cards that are in the finished quest, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, that's not a that's not a thing that I have to worry about. This one though will actually move a, a quest card back to the deck, um, but I think what I'm going to do is I am going to use this card to take out these two items. Uh, let's let's arrange these like this so it's a little bit easier to see. This now goes to the bottom, and this joins one of the other quests, and it's going to have to join Nick from here to here. Move one card, one card from finished quest to the bottom. We'll go ahead and we'll do this one, because uh, this one's actually better for us if we activate its effect, which is move one card from the graveyard to the bottom. Uh, however, now we've only got two people in our party, so that's not good. I think we need to recruit, and the only way to recruit is to... Let's go ahead and recruit this guy. Uh, recruit anyone matching skills. Yeah, we're, we're basically trading a hero for a hero. Fun. Next up, uh, we've got we've got some difficulty here. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. So I could try recruiting, except this guy's got a skull on it, so I can't recruit him. I could try fighting him. I think I'm gonna try fighting him, because if I fight with this guy here, he goes to the graveyard, but then he joins our party but at least he's not joining one of the quests. So this now goes here. Uh, so this is good. This is gain next card if it's crown or... We actually want that one to go up to here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to use... Yeah, I'm gonna use this guy to basically resolve two more items out of here. We'll resolve these two so that the skull's not there. Get that out of the way. He gets moved down to the bottom of the deck, and he joins a quest already in progress, and then we we gain this card, so yay. 
All right, so this is not good because this is going to kill the next card. We don't want that. Um, but I can recruit now, and we're going to recruit this and this. When you're recruiting and encountering, you have to actually match all of the symbols at the bottom. So here you can see that I'm matching both the crown and the sun. That will move this card down to the bottom. But it will give me two heroes now to work with. This is kill the next card. We do not want to do that. We do want to try to recruit if possible. We can't. Um, I can't encounter on um, opposite. Oh, I hate to say it. I feel like I actually have to let this card go up here so that I can complete both of them. So I think I'm going to pass. This is going to kill this card. This is going to move up here. Now we got some trouble because this, if, if I don't do anything about this, this will simply go into uh, if I beat them in terms of strength alright, so this is one where I'm going to do these two cards together because I got the 2 plus 2 here, that gives me 4 that means I can recruit this card into my party uh, and, oh, crud, I was supposed to have had this on top of this, but that's okay. I can still do 2 plus 2 here. And now, I have got an extra person in my party. I think that is correct. Put the encounter to its hero side and add it to your party. All right, so gain this next card. We do want to keep that, um, let that get up there. I think what we want to do is, I think we're going to start going for the kill now. I think we're going to use this, and this is going to complete this quest. Which might not be a strategically good move, because now um, we could run into some real problems. But this is going to join this, and we gain the next card because it's a cross. This will go here as a new thing. Move one cards from finished quest to the bottom, so we do not want to leave that out. But because of our 2 plus 2 here, we can actually recruit it, or we can fight it, and that will move it along. I think that's what we want to do. What we really want to do is we want to get these two cards. Once we get these two cards, we're done. Um, but we can't let any more cards get in there. So I can do one of two things. I can either use this to fight this. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, we're doing, we're using this to fight this, or encounter this. We encounter this, we move it to the quest. This goes to the bottom of the deck. Move one card from the finished quest to the bottom. This will join here. We move this card, the cross, because we don't really need that. And then, just checking to see how many cards are in the graveyard. Then we can use this hero, even though he's at the bottom of the stack encounter, you can do this. Um, I'm going to take out these two. These will be part of the same quest. That'll give me one card there, one card there. And you immediately win if you do that. So I don't have to worry about the encounter. We have done it. We have won the game. Hoorah! I, I didn't rage more. I raged most. Okay. Thank you. That was a really stupid joke. Um, but that is a successful victory in Ragemore. Uh, so yay. Uh, and I will see you all tomorrow. And uh, maybe the game will be Ragemore. Maybe it won't. Who knows? Who knows what tomorrow will tell?